People think Clem Tu is just a tiny village in the middle of the ocean. But our home is ancient. And no matter where we live in the world, Clem Tu is always our home. When I leave this earth, I won't be there to hear you testify for me. Do your best to speak for our land. You can't explain to these people what it's like to come from such a special place. But you can tell them it deserves to be protected. Yo. Hello. My name is Ella Ellis. I'm honored to speak before you today. There are many things that my late Uncle Dave wanted to share with you about our territory. He didn't live long enough to share them with me in person. But I'll do my best to share them with you today. Squeezing blood from a stone. The place is caving in. Yeah? Well, if you want it, you come and get it. Don't be so dramatic. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, shush. You're crying now. You just wait until I push that barb through. What? It's the only way to take these things out. You gotta push it through, snip off the barb, and then pull oh, it no, back. Oh, no, 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 there's gotta be another way. You want me to pull the barb out backwards? All right. It's gonna take half your hand guts with it, but suit yourself. No, 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 just, just do it quick, okay? Okay, that's better. Now buck up. Hey, what's that, Alex? Huh? big downward thing. I'm just, I miss my students, you know, and oh I'm sorry. You want some? That's, no, thanks. Here, why don't I just, was, why don't I just, just take this up. away from Quick. you? Quick. Okay. Hey. Wow, you look so much like your Uncle Bear sometimes. And Corey. Yeah, honey? Do you think that the Uncle Bear would be mad if I didn't do his testimony at the hearing? What? Why? Because I can't. I can't do it. Coming up after the break, a tugboat pushing an American fuel barge has run aground in BC waters, spilling 200,000 liters of diesel and heavy fuel. The recovery effort has been hampered by weather and what local people are calling a slow response by the government. More on this after the break.
है We ask the tree for teachings so that we may know the old ways and we ask the tree for permission so that we may use its bark I need you We need you We need to ask the jury panel to stop the fuel barges from crossing our territory They didn't ask our permission and they have to stop that pipeline What if I don't do it right? And then I let everyone down. You have a beautiful voice. As beautiful as our home. Now use it. Testify for me. Tell them what they'll lose if they allow oil tankers along our coast. They don't even know. I don't have to say anything, Uncle Bear. You're not going to die. Everything dies. That's the whole point. We never got to do our kayak trip to Klemtu. You're supposed to show me all of these things. You'll do it. One day. And you'll take me with you. <laughs> and you'll still take me with you. Oh. Yeah, baby. Oh. I know what to do. I'm going to do the trip and I'm going to scatter Uncle Bear's ashes in all of the places that he told me about all the way home. And that's where he'll rest all up the coast from here to Klemtu. It'll be our big kayak trip after all. He would love it. Um, wouldn't he? It's a beautiful idea. I think it's just too hard. Hey, I knew you would say that, but Here's an idea. What if Uncle Don and Aunt Cory come? Would you say yes then? <sighs> Don always says yes to Aunt Cory. No friggin' way. Are you friggin' crazy? Why don't you just bury him like normal people do? Okay, it is a little bit crazy, but so is Dave. I mean, you knew him, right? He well, stole my action figures, you know. He wasn't crazy, he was just a bastard. It's not just about scattering Uncle Bear's ashes. You know, Uncle Bear's last wish is that I would do the testimony at the hearing and come too and but I'm not like you. I don't even know my own territory. And I need to to stop these hangers from coming in and ruining everything. It's not just about me or Uncle Bear's ashes. It's it's about all of us. It's um it's environmental. Environmental? No, I'm not doing it. Environmental. This bunch of granola eating, with all their propaganda and all that BS. Oh, they come into our territory, barge in there with their socks and their sandals, and they think they know what's best. They don't know shit. They should just stick to smoking dope and drinking their bean juice for seven dollars a glass and breastfeeding their kids till they're nine years old. Forget it. I mean, they drive cars just like the rest of us. Bunch of bloody patchouli wearing hypocrites. Oh, with their nine dollar organic leaves. Oh, it's organic. It comes all the way from California, a thousand miles. Yeah, by a truck. You bunch of idiots. And you think they're gonna change their mind about a pipeline that's gonna pump oil right to China? No one wins that fight, sister. And the government, oh, this government is gonna crap oil all over the place if they want, and there's nothing that a little six-year-old can say about it. <laughs> uh, I am 14. All right, you know what? You don't need to decide right now. You can think about it, you know, let it roll around a bit in the old noggin. And what about your son? Like, when's the last time that you saw Justin? Um, what? I'm what? hemorrhaging money here. Your husband left me high and dry with this place. I've got renovation bills. This was supposed to be our family startup, but this place is gonna kill me before it dies. Plus, we can't leave Alex here alone. The guy just got a hook in his hand. Well, they're very pointy. It was still in the package. 
Okay, so you're thinking about it. I like your attitude. I'd be better off sending your kid with you. I know. What? Sure. You take these girls on an environmental kayaking trip to drown my brother. Sure, why not? Sounds kind of fun. Ah, well, you wouldn't get far. This one's six years old, and this one, you seen her paddle? Oh, okay. come on, I'm not Don. that bad. I know, Mom. We can do this, Don. Just help us out a bit. Look, you're, you're gonna need charts. You're gonna need a plan. You have to organize all your gear. All totally your element. We already have the stuff. We have all of the stuff. Just help us out a little bit with our plan. I got stuff to do. All right, you guys come back later and we'll take a look through my old trip logs. He's gonna die. Die. Don't, don't. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Uh, does this mean you're gonna come with us? I said no. Or didn't you hear me? Okay. Okay, no. that's uh, give me time. He's totally gonna help us. Nice. Hi, Mom. Yeah, Uncle Don said yes. Yeah. We're paddling to come too. I bet Alex can't wait to see a spirit bear again. Uncle Bear always said that. They show themselves to you when you need something to make you feel strong. Yeah, I remember. The root oh, hey! Dave gave this to me. My chief from Cuckoo's Nest action figure. It's mine. And Dad gave it to me for my birthday. I knew he stole it from me. He just gives it away and goes and dies on me. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. This is the route you guys should take. Now, Alex, you might not be so useless after all. How many times you paddle this way? Uh, twice. Once with Dave, but we left from Vancouver. So. Well, you guys are lucky then, because you're leaving from Talamon. It'll make it a short first day. Now, you stick along the coast here and avoid crossing the sound. I mean, you still have to hit open ocean, but it shouldn't be so bad this way. How was crossing the sound? Uh, it was a little hairy. <laughs> we were hitting 20 foot swells out there. Oh my god. Sorry, wh what now? <coughs> uh, I guess I just didn't think about what we were actually doing. Like, actually being on a boat uh. in a real ocean. For a month on a skinny little boat. Oh, Corey! Can we just focus here, please? Now, you stick this way, I think you should uh, hit Bella Bella in time for the hearing. But that weather, it's gotta hold. It'll hold. It'll hold. Yeah. Ah! Jesus! Why do I have to do this? Help me! Look, do you want to be in the middle of nowhere and then discover you don't have your tent pegs or your fly or that you don't know how to do this? That's what Alex is for. Have you seen Alex? Okay, gotcha. Okay, can we at least do this inside? Well, you won't be camping inside, <gasps> Cor. You gotta be prepared, right? I don't want you guys dying on me out there. Maureen would kill me. All right, all right. Look, at least just come help me with this tent pole, He-Man. The hook's the wrong way, it keeps falling off. Oh. I see. Uh, yep, yeah, you keep at it. Okay, almost there, where are you going? Oh, you're doing good, keep, keep, keep going. Looking good, real good. Check, check. And I want you to call me if you get into any trouble or you get lonely. Good check. Over and out. Inquiry. Um, I have. Uncle Bear's ashes to spread along the way. 
But I was wondering if it's possible for me to keep a little bit of him in my pouch. Possibly forever. <laughs> yeah, of course, honey. You keep him close to your heart. <sighs> Finally doing it, Uncle Bear. take a last look at this world to take it all in before they go on their journey to the other side. When you go home to Clem 2 for this hearing, look at the world and take it all in and all the right words will come to you. Cooking up some oysters for dinner. I picked them myself. Yeah. Uh, dinner's almost ready, honey. I told you I'm not eating those things. Yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure about those either. I mean, it's red tide season. Oh. So you guys got a divorce boat, eh? Alex. What? We'll just, you know, we're just figuring things out. Oh, no, I, I mean, that's, that's just what they call tandem kayaks. So, how long have you guys been paddling for? Uh. Two days? It's our honeymoon. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Right on. Congratulations. Thanks. I'll try one of your oysters. Good. Okay. Wow. That is very impressive. Oh my god. I'm dying. You okay, Inquiry? Nothing a little amputation won't fix. You know your bed's ready, Mom. <sighs> I just live here to die. It's fine. Oh. Oh. oh, my arms are so sorry. I wish those oysters would just hurry up and kill me. <coughs> Come on. Keep it up. You should come and eat. I don't know about this whole thing. I mean, I wanted to go just as much as you in the beginning, but now it just looks like we're gonna have to turn back. No, no, no way. Why did you think she could do this? Because I wasn't allowed to go with just you, okay? My mom thinks that Uncle Don is here. What? Dude, you lied to your mom? Just... How far did you think we'd make it before they found out? Honestly, that is the stupidest thing. That's it. We leave in the morning. No! No, that is not an option. Don't you get how important any of this is? Alex! Crap. Our food. Didn't you tie up our food? No, you said you were gonna that do it. That was your job. 
Great, Alex. Now we have nothing. Could you make this any harder? Well, now what are we gonna do? Get Alex. I can't move my arms. Alex, come here. What? I seriously can't move. You just gotta get up, Mom, come on. I can't get up. And I definitely can't get back in a down kayak because I cannot get the hell out of the sleeping bag. Now, please don't sit me or I'm gonna scream. I am freaking out. Okay, okay, just chill. You just gotta stretch, Mom. Oh, ah! Ah! <gasps> okay, I'm done. You deal All with this. Right. You want me? I. Don't touch me. Hey, don't blame me because Dave dumped all this responsibility on you. It's not my fault she can't move oh. or that you lied. None of this is on me. What? Who said that he dumped any of this on me? Uh, he was my stepdad, remember? It's just like him to burden people with mega loves You don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I do. Don's like broke now because of him. He can't do it by himself. Well, whatever, okay? Because what are we supposed to do? We can't just wait for her to get better. And we have no food. We're calling no. for help. No, 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 no. Stop. No. No. Stop. No. Stop. no. Stop it. Don't. No, 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 no. Well, we're screwed. Get moving. What happens if something happened to them out there? That would be on you. They were never going to get that far in the first place. So you just let them go by themselves? What's wrong with you? That's my daughter out there. That's your niece. I know who they are. And his ashes. That's our brother's ashes out there. Mo? Mo what? I can't just take off on a big trip like that. Look at this place. Yeah, it's a bloody mess. How long have you been farting around in here now? I could have this place cleaned up in a day by myself. So just sell it and get rid of it already. I don't see you lending a hand, Mo. And last time I checked, you were part of this family business. Yeah, I should have taken over a long time ago. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. What do you know about this place anyways? Yeah. Let's just go pick up those damn kids. Crap. Oh, thank God. Oh. Maureen, you just take it easy on her. She was just trying to honor Dave, all right? Alex, we're taking down the tents. Where's your mom? She's in there. Bad oysters. I'm dying! What the hell were you guys thinking? Come on, let's get going before it gets dark. No. El, this hearing, you're too worked up about it. This beach could be completely covered in fuel. I'm not gonna sit in Vancouver and let that happen. You got to grow up in Klemtu. It's your place. And it's Uncle Don's place. It's even Alex's place and he's not even from there. You, know, you could help me make it my place too. But you don't want to. Uncle Don, how come you don't live there? Mom, why didn't I grow up there? You left Klump too. And when you did, you took something from me. It wasn't easy, Ella. Oh, I know. No, you don't. Well, you don't know what I know or what I feel. There's a hole here. We all have a Clem two sized hole in our hearts. That's what it means to be who we are and live away. Maybe it doesn't have to be that way. I won't know until you let me go on this trip. You haven't even passed the first camp. It's not safe. Just let me try, Mom. What's more dangerous? Some rough waves, bears are going hungry, or being stuck in the city, paralyzed to do anything because you taught me not to believe in myself. I'll take them. Well, come on, they're not gonna get very far. Let her try, Mo. She'll be safe with me. 
Dave chose the right person to convince this jury of anything. That pipeline doesn't stand a chance. <sighs> okay. Go ahead. Try. But you radio me when you need help. Yeah, but what about mom? Well, I'm not looking after her. Hey! So what do you expect me to do? Carry on my shoulders? You can take the tandem. Uh, and all of our stuff. Right. If I could just trouble you for a ride back into town, like you know, as a, as a trade, right? Uh, my look, my wife, she, she's not loving this adventure. And in fact, she said either it was either the honeymoon or, or divorce. So, you know. And besides, these these devil oysters are are coming out both ends right now. Hey. Don't blame the oysters. You're about as good at roughing it as you are at business. It's a deal. Yeah. Rise and shine, princess. <laughs> no, oh, that's our heart. <laughs> Just take it easy. All right. Yeah. I think it was right around here. About the biggest load of crab ever. Oh, that's life, eh? Crab fishing. Hey, Cor, Dave ever take you crabbing? Uh-huh. What? No. But you like crab, though, eh? I seem to remember you at one sitting putting away three crab. Ah. <laughs> uh, What's that? Nothing. You got to turn your head, Cor. I mean, that, uh, otherwise your voice just goes straight out in front of you and the person at the stern can't hear you. It's one of the annoyances of the uh, tandem, otherwise known as the uh, divorce boat. So the simple solution, you just turn your head and the person at the stern can hear you. Or we could just stop talking. Seriously, Cor, I can't hear you. I said, oh, sorry. Yeah. I was thinking, if I ever get my boat sold, I could help you out with house expenses or whatever you need. Do you really think that selling the boat's the way to get the store back on track? How much do you think you're gonna get for it anyway? It's not exactly a super yacht. It's a good boat. Plus my fishing license alone, it's worth a lot. Just keep the boat. At least you have something to show for it. Don't be an idiot. No, I think I liked it better when I couldn't hear you. Big ocean-going canoes off here. Really? It's amazing. Look okay, here. Yeah. Whenever you are in a 
place where our ancestors once walked, you can really feel the power that still lives there. Remember what this is? It's a uh, wild blueberry. <laughs> your name comes from your auntie and Belle Bella. We're all connected, all our communities. She gave that name to you and your mom to share, remember? I know. Well, tell them. And one day, you will pick blueberries on that very beach where your name comes from. Uncle Bear? I thought I was gonna feel something. I don't know what I'm supposed to see. I'm sorry. I gotta give Mo a call and see how she's making out. I think we should split up so we're not setting up camp in the dark. Ooh, uh, can I come with you? She wants to know if she can come with you. Yeah, sure, knock yourself out, kid. Alex, you and your mom, set up camp, yeah? Sure. Hey, Ella, you remember where camp is? Duh. Nice to be on land for a little bit. <laughs> Give me a cheeseburger, I'm starving! Oh yeah, I'm all over it. Thinks I'm her chauffeur, and now I'm a waiter, jeez. I'm just gonna check my messages. Do you want anything? I think I'm gonna get those um, jujubes that Uncle Barry still have. Yeah, whatever, kid, knock yourself out. Hey, Mo, it's me. Yeah, well, they haven't given up yet. <laughs> it won't be long, though. <laughs> Okay, how's it going there? We found a buyer. For the shop. <laughs> oh, that guy. Yeah, and he wants me to sell it to him for a loss. Well, because it's stupid. I'm not losing. Look, you just want to piss Dave's money away? Just like that? Well, I'm not losing the business and the money. Find another buyer. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Marie? Marie? Hi! Okay, okay, slow down, jeez. <laughs> doing warm enough? Woo, how am I ever with this awesome, super absorbent camping towel? <laughs> Guess I'll get the tent ready then. So, what's the legs doing at the store? Is it totally gross? I don't know. It's not bad. Kind of like it. <laughs> well, you know that you can come home whenever you want, anytime. Well, Unless you're moving to Clump 2, it's not really my plans. Plans can change, though. No, they, they can't. I mean, you said I'd live down south for one year, and then I could go do what I want. I just wish that your plans weren't to be so far away. I'm going home, Mom. Home's wherever you want it to be, Alex. No, it's not. I don't belong in the city like you. You know, I, I was raised in Clump 2. 
Ever since you took me out of there, I, I just... I, I just miss it, okay? Home isn't some dungy storage room just because I sleep there. You just said that you like it there. Sometimes I just say things you want to hear. What's up, campers? You guys snagged a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> now, doorsman, eh? You want to see something cool? Uh, sure. I'm John. That's Greg, my trusty guide. He knows these forests like the back of his hand, eh, Greg? Yep. <laughs> you guys just out for a paddle? Yeah, uh, something like that. John. Hey, be cool, man. You don't have to show him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, come here. Don't show him, man. No, he's gonna like this. Oh, God. What? What, man? I thought you were an outdoorsman. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, what is it? Hey, what is it? it it's, it's a grizzly. They skinned it. it. It's just its head and its hide. Isn't that illegal? No. We have a license. Just take a deep breath, keep on packing, okay? What'd you do that for? I thought he'd be into it. What? No, I mean the bear. Would you just leave the meat in the woods? Oh, hey now, look. I know what you're gonna say, but we got the utmost respect for bears, okay? I'm a licensed outfitter, we were in the proper area. It's legal, look it up. I, I don't care that it's legal, okay? It's totally inhumane. I'm a good shot, lady. That bear ran not 20 feet before she went down. I, I was right there. Let's go, man. Yeah, I guess. Later, neighbors. Have a good night. Look at me. You're okay. Don't cry. We don't cry. Hey, we have cheeseburgers. And marshmallows. Got any wine in there? Ah, you wish. Burger me, I'm starved. Thank you. Look at me, you didn't start a fire. We, uh, got distracted by the birds. Birds, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you know what, guys? I think I'm gonna hit the hay, too. Thank you. Well, looks like I'm starting the fire. I'm gonna make marshmallows. Want yours, uh, crispy? Black as my heart. Oh, really? What the heck are you doing? Yeah. Close your eyes. Open your mouth. And whoa, wait, don't chew. And don't swallow, just taste it. And? What color does it taste like? Green. Okay. Check. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. That was an easy one. All right, well, give me another one. Okay. You get it? Do I get what? One of these were Uncle Bear's favorite. See, they don't taste good, but they're fun. Hmm. You got it? Purple. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, give me another. Give me another one. Okay. Uh huh. Mmm. Good. Purple. Yeah. Jeez. It's like these fish think I have forever. <laughs> That's not funny. It's a little funny. After I'm gone, I want you to know that you always have a place with my family. You can walk around clump too, and anyone bugs you, you remind them that I adopted you as my own. You tell them that sometimes water is thicker than blood. And you're an ocean boy. And you love this water and its creatures and his people as much as I do. Remember, you can always go back to Clem too, okay? I said so. Is this where I used to find the moss that made my throat feel better when I got sick? How is it that you used to find eagle feathers and trade beads? I can't even find a single berry. I only want you to be in special places. I don't know if this is it. Come on, you're tough. Mmm. Coffee. What do you say, Alex? Can you push off? The last section that's protected before the open ocean. Yep, Bert. Yeah, what's a little open ocean got on us? Ella? Yeah, yeah. Let's pack it up. Want me to take something? Oh. Okay. You okay? I'm fine. Oh, Lord! <laughs> Had a girl. Love your attitude. No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Very funny. No. Going the wrong way. I seen one before go right under my kayak. You guys, I don't like the looks of this weather. I think we should head back and wait for it to pass. No way. We'll be fine. We wait for it to pass. It's not safe. That's a bottom line. You know what, guys? He's right. It looks risky. I'm scared. All right, let's back it up. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh, 
Take an early swim, that's all. You're fine. Are you okay? Yeah, she's good, she's uh, good. Catch your breath over here. Can I see? Uh, I've got hey, a blanket. Hey, hey. And Corey? Whoa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, we're fine. You're fine. We all made it. It's fine. Here. I dropped him. I dropped him. What? What do you mean you dropped Dave? I had to put him in my high jacket. <laughs> oh, my. No. <laughs> what? Why were you holding him? I don't know. I just... He was in the... I just can't. So, so you lost all of him? Ella, take it easy. It was an accident. No! What about Uncle Bear? Now he's just buried here? Oh, my God! I didn't mean to. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. All right. You know what? In a way, this is probably better. Like, Uncle Bear probably would have been happy it was Mom who spread his ashes. She didn't spread them, though. She dropped them all at once, <laughs> accidentally. Yeah, but isn't that the point? I mean, 
when he didn't have much longer, Uncle Bear told me that this is what he wanted. You're making that up. No, for real. He wanted to be part of the coast. Spreading his ashes was my idea. You don't know everything. Ella, Dave told me lots and lots of things. But he loved you the most. See? See, we use solar power to pump water over the oyster seeds. And then when they're big enough, they go back to the ocean in cages. And there are no fossil fuels used at all. It is totally sustainable, which is why I love it. Okay, just hold on. Dave, look around. This place is a money pit. Don't do that. I need this. I need something that'll bring my family together. You can get behind that, can't you? Just not talking to each other for the rest of the trip then? It was an accident, Ella. Don't get in the middle, Alex. I'm not. I'm just saying. We're all in this, right? Listen, your uncle. I only lived with him half of my life. Come on. It wasn't that big of a deal. He would think this was hilarious. Save it for Miss Oopsie Daisy. Ella, it wasn't her fault. She dropped him. Of course it's her fault. All right, then. Be mad. Oh, what do you care? Anyways, you were blaming Uncle Bear for your money problems. You just want to sell your boat. You don't care about the ashes. You don't care about the hearing. All you care about is yourself. Hey! I can see why Dave chose you to do his testimony. You're just like him. I take that as a compliment. Uh-huh. <sighs> I just want you to know it's not your fault, Corey. I know it's not my fault. This is all Dave's fault, not mine. He's the one who inspired Ella to go dumping his ashes in the water. This is all what he wanted. He had to go die and ruin everything. And so he got a lovely burial tea, and I hope he's goddamn happy with it. So what then? We still got a hearing to get to. I mean, you got a boat to sell and Clem to? So what if I do? I mean, my brother was nothing but amazing to you and to anyone who's ever met him. But he was a shit businessman. I mean, it's gonna take me years to dig out of the mess that he made, even if I do sell the store. God, why didn't you tell us that you were in that much trouble? You're a little burdened at the time. I and mean, your husband just died. Yeah, that. So what do you say we get Ella to this hearing? I mean, it was his dying wish and all that. Jeez. All right? All right. Here, let me in there. Thank you.
Wait. I'm not going to ride in that with her. Oh, you too. You got some crap to work out. And you think we're going to do it in the divorce boat? Or die trying. You disturb her. <laughs> Come on. I'll race you. Oh, you're on. I can't believe you lost Dave and the paddle. I was trying to look after you. I didn't ask you to. Right here? Sorry, but the little boy's room is occupied. Uh, uh, Couldn't you just go behind the tent? I mean, it's right there. What? You miss this beautiful sunset? What do you mean, the moonrise? <laughs> <laughs> you wish, girls. You wish. Ew. Oh, God. <laughs> Good to see you two laughing for a change. They're laughing at you. Well, good thing I didn't go commando. <laughs> God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <sighs> go for a dip. Don. Oh, come on. Don, Don. no. <laughs> what are you doing? Gonna go seal wrestling. Woo! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, How's wow. the water? Come on in, it's warm. We used to strip cedar bark to make everything we needed. The forest saved us. Now we look for trees that were stripped long ago, so we can save the forests. They can't log in a place where there are trees like that, because they're markers. They mark our existence here from before contact. So if you find a tree like that, you'll know your people stood there before you. Is a part of you. How are we doing for time, Don? A while there, I thought we'd make it all the way, but we just had too many setbacks in that bloody tandem. Ella's gonna kill me if we don't make it. We gotta at least try. Well, I don't see how we can do it without getting some horsepower underneath us. 
I mean, surely it's faster if you or Alex paddles the tandem with Ellen in front. <laughs> anyway, you paddle solo? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, you're serious? It's all my fault. I've slowed everyone down. Oh, nothing that we can do about it now. How come you never remarried, Don? Uh -uh. And Dean, he must be what? 17 now? We really need to see when we get to Clem too. Don't wait too long to make up with your son, Don. You want to talk parenting, Cor? Your kid's living in my shop. honors oh come on okay guys from now on we're gonna call this the fun boat okay Alex would you take the fun boat with me please yes fun boat got it got it thank you see <laughs> yeah the fun I boat the fun already Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Don, uh, what made you decide to come on this trip? Uh, and don't say that it was because you thought we couldn't do this alone, because we're nailing this. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I saw what kind of Uncle Dave was to you. And how you were honoring him. Just uh, made me think of my son. Well, he certainly wouldn't do any of this for me. And I wouldn't blame him. Anyways, we should get going. The only crazy ones out here. Yeah. Last time I was out here, there were loads more people. <laughs> was that with Dave? Yeah. Just before he got diagnosed. How are you doing with all that? Are you asking me this now? Guess. Guess I'm not very good at this. That's no, fine, Mom. We don't cry, remember? Anyways, I'm doing fine at the shop. Soon enough, I'll be moving back up to Clem too, so. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I think that that was a, a great plan to get you through high school, but we should start looking at universities uh, now. Mom, this was always the plan. I know that was the plan, but Alex, I'm just thinking more clearly now and I don't see how that plan makes sense, especially now that our connection to Clem 2 is gone. I'm a connection to Clem 2. I keep telling you, I just want to go back. I just want to go home. I can help Don on his boat. Maybe he won't have to sell Dave's oyster shop. I, I'm not just thinking of myself here. Look, we all need a reality check. The oyster shop thing, it's not working. God, I told Dave not to throw his money into that place. I told him I knew it would fail. So what are you saying? I should be afraid of failure? No. Sure sounds like it. Alex! 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 <laughs> Hey, look. A tail feather. Wow. Huh. Hey, do me a favor. Yeah. Look after your mom when I'm gone. See you.
where it's split here? You can put it back together. It's healed. It's whole. think you'd make it this far. Can't give up now, kid. You gotta dig deep. Dig deep. All right, my people, let's dig deep. Clip two, here we come. Dig, dig. <laughs> Take a short break and then then we'll head into town and get a hot meal. What do you say, guys? No, we can't just go visiting in Bella Bella. We're almost at the hearing. Uh, you okay, Don? Yeah, uh, no, I'm I'm good. I just I just need to take a break for a bit. Uh, Don, are you having chest pains? No, no, it's just a little heartburn. I just gotta just gotta take my spray thingy and then I'll be good to go. Don't worry about it. Your spray thing? Don, do you have a heart condition? It's no biggie, okay? I got a little angina, I take my spray, and I'm fine. Hey, Alex, you wanna get my uh, kit from the kayak? Jesus, <sighs> you never should have come on this trip. Well, I did say no, if you recall. I'll be fine. Uh, Here, Don. Uh, just... Uh, good kid. A little slow, but good kid. <sighs> Look, maybe we can still make it. Here's tomorrow. We'll never make it. Dude, I know it sucks, but Uncle Don's got a rest. I know that. I know a lot of things, okay? Just like you. Like, I know that I'm just a city kid. And I know that I don't have what Uncle Bear tried to pass down. Hey, come on. You know what I like most about the people on the coast? their willingness to help each other. It's what's so great about coming from a place like home too. You can ask for help and you'll actually get it. And that's exactly what you did here. You know, you brought us all together. He'd be proud of that. This whole trip was a success, Ella. This was not a success. This was me failing at the most important thing that I've ever had to do. from Bella Bella. We're all connected. All our communities. One day, you'll pick blueberries on that very beach where your name comes from. Oh my 
God. A trade bead. Just need a little help. Sing that at my funeral, okay? I won't be able to. I'll be too sad. And I'll never sing again. You'll sing, my girl. How do you know? Because your Aunt Cory and your mom horrible singers. I'm serious. You'll see. You'll sing. I knew you'd cry then. 
eventually. <laughs> will it ever stop? Yeah, it will. Here, I brought this to put the last of his ashes in. Oh, um, actually, you saved something to bury here, didn't you? Here. <laughs> okay. Look after the chief okay. for me. Let's go to the hearing. name is Ella Alice, niece of the late David Alice, who was to speak before you today. He passed on to me the responsibility of sharing with the jury panel, for he passed away earlier this year. It is my honor to be here in his place. I wish to share with you some evidence born of my traditional knowledge and firsthand experience with these waters. I have spent the last month paddling 500 kilometers in these waters in a kayak, and I will tell you that should tankers pass through these waters, the threat of a spill is not only a potential, it is a certainty. The only unknown is how long would we have to wait and how many times would it happen. There are many things that threaten our way of life on this coast. We are a fishing culture. We subsist on the sea. Our people have inhabited these waters for millennia, a documented 14,000 years. But we know from our oral history that we have been here since creation. We are not the only ones who have survived despite attempts at extermination in this territory for millennia. This is the only place on Earth where you can see a spirit bear. Yet bear and wolf habitat are not respected in a world where oil tankers would destroy estuaries and spawning grounds that bears and wolves need to survive. I had many things that my uncle wanted me to share with you from his vast knowledge of our territory. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that because I am just a kid who grew up in the city. But I'm proud that I come from here. My traditional name is Sasikwapka. It means the traditional way that women would pick blueberries. I thought that I would live up to my name and live off the land, but I didn't find a single berry. I did find this trade bead. It tells me I stand where my ancestors once stood. And it reminds me that my future and time itself are in the direct path of where the proposed tanker route lies. It would only take one moment and one oil spill to take away my chance to know my territory the way that my uncles do. I was in a hurry to get here, but I need a lifetime. An oil spill on the inside passage of the Great Bear Rainforest would disturb the final resting place of my late uncle, David Ellis, who has been laid to rest at sea. His remains would have by now spread, and the entire length of these waters from Tla'amen to Klemtu are his final resting place. Together, my family and I let him go in these waters. <laughs> it is illegal to deface a burial ground. It is moral to destroy a culture. Families like mine depend on these waters, and the world depends on the sanctity of the Great Bear Rainforest in ways we are only beginning to understand. You cannot put tankers in the inside passage. Oh, 
boat looks great. Thanks for taking care of her. I'll just, uh, Thanks, my boy. Sure you don't want to come along? No, I gotta get back to work. Yeah, sure. You taking off already? No. Hey, why don't you come by Aunt Marion's? We'll have dinner. See ya. Mo, sell the shop. Get what you can for it. I'm keeping the boat. Came all this way for. Yes. Exactly. Oh, it's so you weird to be yourself, back. Mm. Oh, I'm just glad you guys made it safely. Yeah, oh my God. Fabulous. I'm so hungry. It's like our Aunt Marion used to make, hey? Yeah. Mm. 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 Eat some salmon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty uneventful trip, though, I gotta say. Huh? We were like the Parkins family out there, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, Dennis Proud, my girl. Dennis Proud. Jessica. Oh, that was the best meal I've had since oh, I left yeah. here. Uh, did you try the hooligan grease? The sea lions, right. It's the thing I miss most. <laughs> that a boy. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna need a hand up here handling my boat. So, if you're looking for a job, can I think about it? But you said you wanted to stay up here. I just, I think I gotta go home first. Like, my other home. You know? Of course you do. Hey, Dad. you home, Uncle Bear. 